Hello! It's time for video tutorial number 37, Modulating Video Effects with Audio. In our last tutorial, we had made this nice little patcher and it plays the QuickTime movie. And um, we learned how to put these things in at volume 1, at SOC, SOC, that means the spigot uh, object associated, I don't know what the C is for, spigot object associated with this object is monkey. So here's spigot monkey, therefore the one that's associated with it. That's how you associate things in Max and Jitter. So having done that, and I'm just going to make a warning here, I, uh, I did a different patcher with a copy of this one with monkey and I left it open and it messed everything up. So you can only associate one with one. Be careful about that or it'll just totally crash everything that you're doing or it just won't work. Okay, so we've got the spigot monkey, we've got the QuickTime movie uh, thing and let's just make sure it works. We'll uh, reload the basketball. There it goes. Do we hear anything? No! Because the sound is off. There we go. The sound's on. And I like it looping back and forth in its weird palindrome way just for uh, grins and giggles. There we go, backwards. It also makes a different sound. Okay, so um, let's make a little space for this. I'm going to unlock the patcher because we are going to need some space. So we're going to put this up here and this audio thing over here and then what we're gonna do because we never know what kind of signal we're gonna get coming out of here I'm going to stick a gain control on here gain there it is and I like the horizontal version of it and of course I also like it to look the same can't help myself and there it is hooked up and then we'll go and we'll get a meter from here that's under audio under your explorer and we'll just put a little meter there so we can see what our audio looks like and I'm just going to turn the gain up to make sure we're getting some kind of audio in here and there it is look at that we have audio yay so what we really need to be able to modify, to be able to modulate stuff sometimes is data and what we have is signal. So uh, let's get the object up that's good for changing one to the other and it's called the average object. And when I say that I don't mean it's just an average object, I mean it is the average object. So type N and type AVG, there it is, the average object. And the average object um, takes a signal and tells you what um, in absolute terms kind of signal you're getting. And when I say absolute that's because signals go positive and negative and if you averaged them you would get zero uh, for the most part. But uh, what it does is converts it all to positive and then averages them and then spits out a number. Um, and the number is usually a float. So, um, knowing that, we'll just connect this down here. And now we have our number. But we need something else to make average work, and that is the metronome object. So, metro, and we like to run at 25 frames a second sometimes, or 40 milliseconds as we know it in the max world, and we like to have a toggle on there, so push the letter T, connect them together, move them out of the way, and connect it to your average object, poor average object, and lock your patcher, and let's just make sure it works. Yes, look at that. Nice. Okay, 
So we know that we can get some sound out of here. We don't want to overdrive this whole thing, but we also want to make sure that we get an, um, when we get this number that we can work with it. So what I strongly suggest doing is that we put another object down here, whoops, unlock your patcher, and we put in our old friend the scale object, and the incoming number we know is going to probably be between 0, 0.0 and 1.0, or approximately, and then the outgoing number that we need we have no idea what it's going to be, but let's just make it the same thing to start with. 0, 0.0 and 1.0. Why do I say that? Because we're going to need different numbers to drive different effects. And so, what we'll control this with is um, the minimum and maximum number over here. So if you mouse over these you'll see that's the low output value and the high output value in other words the second 0 and 1 so we can change those to whatever numbers we want and let us do that now um, uh, I'm wondering if we ever need to yeah well let's make them floats just to be safe there's one float and another and remember that go, that's not the last object there because that's an exponential base value but this one which should say high value, high output value and low output value and over here is indeed the output so there's only one other thing that we want to consider and um, I know this is seeming complicated, but I've done this enough that I, I recognize it as a problem. This is happening very quickly, as we said, 25 times a second. But what we need is something, when we, we don't want the effect to just be an instantaneous blip every 25, 525th of a second. We want it to be a little more gradual. So what I'm going to do is use the line object new object line um, to and I'm just going to put one in there as a starting point um, so the line object makes a ramp you tell it where to go and how fast to get there using a message object message you tell it where to go meaning the number that's going to come spitting out of there so we're going to make it string one tell it what string one is and get there in uh, uh, 40 thousandths of a 40 milliseconds again and then that'll do that in time for the next uh, number coming out of there so this should all work just fabulously well if we have played our cards correctly now uh, let's move this guy over here and duplicate it so we have one to compare it to. Okay, so now we've got the line coming out of here and all we need to decide is what kind of movie effect do we want. I'm gonna start with a very simple one which is the JIT dot Bercosa B-R-C-O-S A. There it is and we're going to run that number into... no, we're not going to run it directly in. We're going to run the video directly in to... Jit Burgosa. And then we're going to run the video out of Jit Burgosa right up to the patcher window again. Okay, so with no adjustments we have the same video running. Now let's get another object up here. Attributes. And as soon as we 
hook it to boy space is at a premium today as soon as we hook it to this we should be able to start modulating something and I'm gonna guess that the easiest thing to modulate there we go nothing let's lock the patcher and now we get to start playing around we'll pick brightness because these other things are not so obvious contrast um, isn't as obvious saturation is not as obvious but brightness yeah that'll be pretty obvious so right now it's zero and what happens when we when he hits that basketball that's just about a zero too so what we'll do is we'll start turning up the high number until we get a better scale range or actually we could be really smart and turn up the low number so that it never goes to black like let's say 0.4 something out of it that's between 0.4 and 17 alright look at that so it's probably not going all the way to 17 it's probably being scaled to something far far lower so let's let's try turning this thing up even higher maybe to 30 and see if that does it we'd like to get it to blow out a little bit you know we're not in any real danger nice what about 50 60 66 yeah see now we start getting some some action here <laughs> 